you're engaged, he put a ring on it, and now you feel great and have absolutely no mixed emotions or don't feel like a little bit wacky, right? Wrong. The truth is the emotions that can come up after we get engaged can be really tricky to navigate. So if you're engaged and looking for some guidance, stick through to the end of this video because I'm gonna share my four practical tips to managing your emotions once you've been engaged and are planning your wedding. Now, before I dive into it, I make videos like this about how to live a meaningful life and live a life of impact every week. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. I'm Komal and I just got back from my honeymoon in Hawaii. And oh my God, it was amazing. While I was there, I had the opportunity to reflect on my weddings. Yes, we had two of them. That's four, two of them. And I also got to reflect on my whole experience of wedding planning and what it was like to go from engagement to the planning process to being married and now being a wife. So I wanted to make a series about that process and about how I intentionally and consciously planned my wedding. Welcome to part one of the series. Now back to the beginning. When I got engaged almost two years ago, I was hit with a spectrum of emotions that came at me throughout the planning process of the wedding. And I am so excited to share with you how I learned to authentically and intentionally manage my emotions during that really incredible time. And now let's get into the tips that I learned so that you can also learn to navigate your emotions through the engagement process. Step one, Take some time to just celebrate you and your fiance without having to have anyone else be involved. This was one of the most important parts of that first few days of being engaged. We got engaged and we took a few hours to ourselves. We didn't have our phones when Mitch proposed, which was very uncharacteristic of us, but was very welcome to just really honor that moment and that time together. And then a few hours later, we started calling family. But that few hours in between, when it was just our news and it was just our joy, were some of the most special and precious in my life. And then when we slowly started telling people and going through the list of our most loved ones, FaceTiming and getting to surprise everyone, that was one of the most magical parts of the process of that day. Actually, no, it wasn't. The proposal was definitely the most magical, but sharing it was very magical. Now, once we told our whole family, we had a social media ban for about 24 hours. I wanted it to be the whole weekend, but I got ahead of myself. And it was just very nice to have that be a special experience just for us and to just not get fully caught into the frenzy of sharing it with the world right away. So just take some time just for you guys to soak in the joy of what you both are experiencing and the commitment you're about to make to each other. My second tip for you is when you are ready to start sharing it beyond just you and your fiance and you're starting to reach out to your family and all of that good stuff, make sure you have some answers to some questions prepped because a lot of the time, the first questions, especially for people who aren't as close to you in the inner circle, but who are a little bit in the periphery, the first go-to is, so when are you gonna get married? Where are you gonna get married? And yes, in your mind, you're like, this just happened. How would I have these answers? But a couple days after you can start having these conversations, just start getting those quick answers so you can share with others. Or if you guys are taking more time to figure it out, just have that in your mind scripted. We're still figuring it out. We're so happy to be engaged and we're just taking this in right now and enjoying this moment. Don't let yourself get too overwhelmed by the questions that do come in. And one of the best ways to do that is by preparing and understanding the questions that might be asked. My third tip to managing your emotions once you've been engaged is to sit in stillness by yourself. This is such an important day in your life. You wanna remember every second of it. So after Mitch and I made our phone calls and had our time together, we both kind of took some space separately and I sat aside and I journaled about what happened. I journaled about the proposal. Oh my God, when I look back at that journal entry, it just brings me so much joy. I can see myself writing it right now. And really cementing the emotion of that day and the joy of that day in your body, in your soul. That was a really special practice for me when we did it. The most important part here is to let yourself feel your feelings. Let yourself feel the spectrum of emotions that that day brings. And don't let yourself get too caught up in the details and the questions and all those things. Let it still be about the essence of that day, which is just pure love. Now, are you someone who is hoping to really intentionally plan and thoughtfully think out your wedding in a way that's really authentic for you? If that's the case, comment below with Warrior. Now, step four in managing your emotions around your engagement is to mentally prepare for the process ahead. Wedding planning and marriage are no small feats in life. 
This will be a tumultuous, joyful, love-filled, complicated time in your life. Make sure you create the space necessary for it. Make sure you're taking care of you throughout the process. In my next few videos, I'm gonna talk more about this and I'm gonna dive into the one book that really helped me understand the emotional aspects to the wedding planning process, The Conscious Bride. So I hope this feeling helped you feel seen in your engagement and the spectrum of emotions that come with it. If you wanna check out some of my other non-wedding related content, check out my video from last week where I share the five stories that completely changed my life. And to keep this conversation going, and if you wanna check out some of the fun stuff from my weddings and honeymoon, head over to my Instagram where I post daily just for you. If you're recently engaged or you've seen someone else be recently engaged and something happened that was rather unexpected or emotions came up that you weren't necessarily prepared for, tell me about it in the comments below. Let's have an authentic conversation about this process beyond all of the magazines and billions of dollars that go into the wedding industry. Let's have a real conversation about weddings. Now, before you go, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you can get my videos every Tuesday. I'll see you guys next week, warriors.